Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Whoop and welcome back to Space Engineers. As you can see, we're really, really inching close to the planet. Uh, since last episode, I reloaded back to a previous save that where all of our stuff wasn't blown up. And I just set myself on a, on a crash course. Well, not really a crash course, but I set myself on an intercept course with the alien planet. And we have everything intact. As you can see, we have our our little guys in the back there sitting pretty as you please. Just can't do any warp jumps, which is unfortunate. Still haven't fixed it yet. Um, there's nothing really much I can do about it, but that's okay. Um, but we're just, it's, I've been like traveling for over an hour, over an hour here. So that just goes to show you how big this space is. Of space engineers is I mean there you have over there to the left you have the uh, the Mars like planet and then I think the earth like planets behind behind the alien planet here but we're just slowly but surely inching toward the planet so I figure what a wonderful time to sit here and talk about the way we're going to be pushing pushing the further expansion of this series uh, once we land on this planet what, was, what should I do? Should I try to build a little space station on it? Uh, should I make like a vehicle bay? Should I build like establish a massive base? Well, I eventually want to establish a massive base on every planet there is and have like relays, antenna relays or laser antenna relays to, so I can control think different things and add remote blocks to pretty much everything. So that way if I'm not on the planet, but I need something or want to look at something while we're doing, you know, random things on other planets, building other things, then that's, that's basically what I want to do. Um, I mean, I could do it on my own time, but I'm, I'm curious to see what do you all think about Space Engineers. I mean, there, this game is mainly about building, exploration, and mining. Uh, there's no other thing to, to it's still in beta I mean it went from alpha to beta so it's still in beta so things have yet to come to fruition with this game so who knows they may add other things uh, what we could do is is I had an idea so I'd like to bounce that idea off of you um, I was thinking about adding something called the shield mod which allows for futuristic shielding and things of that nature uh, and then we could probably build like a fighter ship that could go from base to base actually go attack or do a raid on one of the space station the enemy space stations around here uh, that sounds like something I would like to do but I won't do it like without some type of like shielding I mean I could do it make it out of uh, build it out of solely of the advanced armor blocks um, I've never built a ship out, ship out of that stuff. I usually just use the regular, regular stuff. So I might do, instead of getting the shield mod, unless it is requested, I think that's, that's what I'll do. Have like build a ship that's designed around probably about four or five layers of the advanced hulling and then just make a ship design out of that. And it's just, it'll be a fighter, uh, a fighter. It'll be able to go on, on land. It'll be able to get... Uh, probably add some wheels to it I, I don't know uh, but it will be able to be an SSTO of sorts where, where if we're on a planet and we need to get off the planet quickly we'll be able to have you know we'll be able to utilize not only atmospheric thrusters uh, and pretty much the way we have our mothership here that ut utilizes all three types of thrusters the atmospherics the hydrogens and the ions and we'll balance it out to where you know, it can carry massive amounts of ammunition, probably have like five or six, maybe more rocket launchers on them, and even rocket launchers that I can control and aim and shoot and whatever. But that's that's just one thing I was thinking about throwing off as an idea. I was just trying to get your feedback on. It sounds like a wonderful idea, or at least I think it does, I and mean, that's, that's why I have these types of conversations with you. So, yeah. Well, we're not to the planet yet, and I've about said everything I wanted to say, so I will be back 
when we get to the planet. 20 minutes later, and I just had a pretty good idea, and I'm going to test it out. I'm, I'm oop, put my helmet back on. Uh-oh. There we go. I took it off because my oxygen was going low. Uh, I have an idea, and I'm curious to test this out. We do know about the jump drive and other ships connected to the ship that actually jumps. My question would be, what if we did the reverse of what we have? We have basically what we're having right now is that the ships that we have in our cargo bay or our docking bay or whatever, a ship bay, basically... Oh, come on. Let me, uh... There we go. Basically what we have is our ships down in the cargo bay, they connect to this ship, and that's where we're causing the problems. I wonder if I can reverse it to where we connect them to, say, landing gears? that's connected to the mothership, I wonder if that would allow us to jump. Because, as you saw, let's just open this up and show you. 20 minutes from the last last time I said something. And we're still nowhere closer to it. So I'm, I'm getting quite impatient. I've been spending over almost two hours on this now. So I'm not, I don't want to spend no more time trying to get to the planet than I absolutely have to. So we're going to test this theory out. So let's grab a landing gear and let's stick it to the bottom here. Yeah. Build that for me. Then I'm going to do the same thing for this one over here. Actually, I need this one to move because there's no no room to put it um, before I move anything I want to save so that way if things do wind up breaking then uh, I'll, I'll be able to fix it quickly all right ungear let's move there we go I should be able to place a landing gear right here there we go all right, this one's built over here. Fantastic, fantastic. So we'll activate this. Come on, turn the engines on. There we go. And I basically want to... Oh, I already grabbed it. Fine. I'll grab to it. It's only grabbed to one, but I think that's all that, that all that's required to, to keep the ship stable. So I'm, I'm wondering if this will work. I'm gonna try it. If it doesn't, then we'll go back and I probably will have to, to spend the time and, and, you know, put my patience aside and probably have to go back and do it again and start traveling the way I, I need to. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's back up. See if that landing leg will fit. Yeah, it fits right there. So, oh, it grabbed it. All right. All right, so let's, let's turn this off. There we go. So it, it's, it's grappled on there very well, but it's grappled on there. And let's head back to the bridge and let's try to jump. That's the only thing I can see to do. And if it works, then that's a workaround for everybody out there. Uh, that way you don't uh, you don't wind up tearing everything up when you're using your jump drives. Because, but ooh, I okay. I got shoved through that door. Are we vented? Yeah, we're good. All right. So here's the test of truth. So I guess the the gates back. No, let's close. Let's close that force field back there. There we go. It's closed. So fingers crossed. 
let's jump. And I'm only going to do five kilometers, so hopefully this works. I'm going to keep it, try to keep an eye on them down there. Ow. Why I died, I don't know. Why did I die? Give me my stuff. Well, we jumped. We're a little bit closer to the planet. For some reason, I died. Jump, jumping is all oh, kind of weird and wonky. Let's turn our flashlight back on, our HUD light. And let's go down here to check to see. Are you still? Oh, nope, they're not attached anymore. All right. For some reason, landing legs cease to function in this type of environment. So there's only one way I know to fix this. Let's just come down. Let's grab on. Leave that running. Well, this one's still connected. Or is it? No, it's not. Alright. So let's back up just a little bit. Uh, don't know how well that's going to work. Actually, let's just do this. Oops. Let's put this in the doorway. And then I'll just open the door, so that way if it does tend to fly out, it'll be alright. So I'm going to go ahead and do that way. So, the landing legs are not a workaround, unfortunately. And the jump drives are still all kind of wonky. But, if I don't move the ship after a jump, those other ships will come along with us. And for some reason, this is... This, I may have to stop playing this game until they get the bug fixed. Because that, that's, that's definitely a bug right there. Alright, so let's jump again. Do a test. The game just saved. So, I'm just not going to move. The ship is completely still. And I died again. What in the world? I have no idea. No idea whatsoever. Well, all my stuff is being picked up by our nano system. As you can see, all my stuff is right here in this bag. And it's just going to get picked up. I'm not going to move until it does get picked up. So that way we don't lose any of it. Because if we're continue if we're going to continually die during the transport process, then I I do not do not want to uh, cause any issues. All right, we're we're filled up with air. Not that it matters. So let's do the jump drives again. And let's change this to 10k. Uh, can I control click? All right, just let's click 10. Oh, that's 10%. So 0%. What about 1%? What about what does that do? What does 1% do? Whoop! Not 10 again. One. 30 kilometers. Ugh. 
So it looks like we're just going to have to do it in 5k jumps. Because I do not know how far we are still. You know what? Let's just do 1%. Why not? If we go through the planet, we go through the planet. What do we got to lose? <laughs> so let's grab our jump drives again. And do 1%. Alright. Let's go. Ooh. Should have moved. Should not have moved. Alright, let's just go. Yep. Here I go again, dead. Oh. I may have to change where the cockpit actually is. I think the fact that... I don't know. I think it's still a bug with the jump drives. Is this door not here? That door's not even there. Is this door here? Um, do I have a body? Yeah, I do. Okay, so apparently the last... Anyway, are ships still in there? Yeah, they are. As long as we don't move, we're good. And we're still nowhere close. Alright, let's just jump... Do the jump drives again. Let's do 2% this time. It's 55 kilometers. Nice jump. And in. And it doesn't even look like we're jumping. Doesn't even look like we're moving. Can I get through here? Yep. That's all kinds of messed up. Yeah, we're not even moving. I don't even seem like it's, it doesn't even look like we're clo any closer. Yeah, okay, the major jump. The major jump. Let's do... Let's do 30%. Yeah, let's do 30%. All right, let's jump. Oh, we're charging. I wonder. Let's phase through here. Can I control the ship from here? I don't know. idea. Uh, I probably could put a command chair in here. I think it's the fact that this this area is connected. I don't know. Something broke. Yeah, we could just phase through here. Let's sit in another chair. Let's sit in this chair over here. And let's grab our our jump drives. Where are they at? There they are. And it will be... Toggle on off? No. Charcoal recharge on off? Increase distance? Let's just toggle on off. Oh, that doesn't work. What do I have over here? Let's press G. What is this? Just jump. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. Since the group doesn't know what to do, the group... Well, oh, wow, that one actually... We actually look a lot closer here. We're really, really close. So let's uh, go through here. Control panel. Just grab, let's just grab a jump drive. Oops, wrong one. Jump. Let's just grab one of these. 
and then click jump. There we go. Uh, jump. We can't jump. Okay, so we're, we are getting closer. So let's do another 5k jump. See if it's just that chair that we we're sitting in that caused us to die. Nope. It wasn't the chair. Well, good thing we have a medical room on board. <clears throat> I don't even need to open these doors if I can just phase through them. Alright, since since everything is going all haywire and wonky, I'm going to discontinue from playing this game until at which time the next update comes out and hopefully they get things get fixed. Because if we get on the planet and we're phasing through blocks and we're going through doors and things of that nature, because you see that door is clearly closed. Turn my light on. You see it's closed. We're going right through it. Can we go through these doors over here? Yep, the doors don't even seem to be there. So that's that's a bug in the game. So I'm going to wait till that bug gets fixed because uh, I don't want to... I mean, when I build something, I don't want it to be... I want it to be there. I want it to be working properly, not all messed up. But we did try to get to the planet. And our ships downstairs are still in ba in the bay, so hopefully we'll be able to, to bring them along next time without any issues. So, sorry for nothing getting done today. Uh, we did do a few testing as trying to get a workaround with the jump drive situation, but it looks like it's just more. It looks like it's just more than the jump drive situation where the doors are super buggy. And uh, I'm going to, as soon as this episode, or as soon as I stop recording, I'm going to go report this bug. So hopefully this thing gets fixed relatively quickly. So thank everybody for watching. If you have any ideas of, of how to fix it or, or if I'm doing something wrong that I, I shouldn't do, uh, let me know in the comments down below. So, But anyway, thank everybody for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, see you later.